elephant the size of a toad that hops around, or is it like an enormous toad with a trunk? I don't know. I mean, you, you, you do have like bullfrogs. So, I mean, an elephant and you have bull elephants. would just be like a... Right? You have Isn't bull elephants? Thing? Isn't the, the... I think the male of an elephant is called a bull. I, I, I would Google that, but I'm kind of scared. Like... So the or other day like, someone was talking about... <laughs> imagine an elephant's like throat like poofing out and then it letting out a mighty croak. Sounds good. Yeah, oh, glory to Elad like... Toad. Yeah, I think <laughs> you... like a good thing to imagine. I think yeah. uh, Rainbow's got it figured out. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm part elephant, part toad. Solved. All right, let's go. <laughs> Game... Oh, no, I don't have the thing. Okay. Oh, my God. We almost lost it. Sorry, I was on the wrong... Uh... I figured it out though, so we didn't miss any of the action. Instant blood shop. Not great, but gets the ring of war, which actually is quite great. So let's see, yeah, what was it again? On the weapon. Uh yeah, you don't depending want that gold weapon. staff. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it does depend if you get a like I guess what it does is it lowers the threshold of what's an item you can take. Exactly, exactly. And Spooty with like a slightly better routing, so getting a little bit ahead. Yeah, and, and between these two racers, that could be all it, all it takes, is just the slightly better routing. For sure. So if Spooty, if Spooty could certainly, it could be the story that he just maintains this like four beat lead the entire race. Who knows? It, it, oh, ooh. that red bat though, being a punk. That was yeah. some rude red bat action there. And of course being very friendly to Ink Nun. So clearly the bat uh, lobby is in Ink Nun's corner here. I don't know if the routing lobby is on his side. Oh, actually... Mm, <laughs> the routing lobby. The, <laughs> who is this routing lobby? Like, I can like personify a bat lobby, but I don't know. <laughs> like a routing... <laughs> what does a routing look like? It's very abstract. Yeah, it certainly is. Something I would see in a in an art museum. All right. So, so Spooty with a nice little throw there for a beat, a beat buffer. It's quality play. And uh, finds himself is actually a gold warhammer. Oh my god, okay. Whoa. And Ink Nun likes decent. it. Ink Nun takes it. I wasn't it's sure he best, would. But but it's it's very interesting. Absolutely, yeah. It can it can be fast. It's mm. not like a full on like don't get a bow because it's bad. It has potential. Yeah, with the especially being gold, you can maybe get like a gold kill or something. If you have courage. Hmm. And I love how that Leprechaun, that was actually, that Leprechaun was almost just a magnifying glass on how slow the Warhammer can be. Because the whole time <laughs> he was trying to get past that gold pile while swatting at enemies. And it now, took I over seven beats. I have seen like Spooty going for the, the Leprechaun quite often. So I don't know if that was actually kind of planned. It was just like, yeah, this is going to take a while. So I'm just going to kill that Leprechaun. I feel like but, it probably was yeah. planned. I, I would say I'm going to, I'm willing to bet yes. I think it's rare that oh. Spooty does things that aren't planned. Oh, but yeah, the lead goes to Ink Nun here. And he's trying to get a gold kill, but he just kind of gives up on it. It's Ooh, just missing Spooty, it again. Spooty, Spooty getting Spooty it. Spooty got it, like, immediately, oh, yeah. solid plays from Spooty. And he's going to find Obsidian Axe with the war. The war axe. Is Ink Nun going to notice he is? Double is war nice. axe. Let's go. Oh, my God. It's like... This is it's probably like the, the best weapon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the best players somehow also get the best seeds. I mean, part of that is, of course, they know where to look and when to look, but... And the seating lobby, crap. which is very close to the routing lobby. The seating lobby and routing lobby are both in the same de yes. building. Yeah, in the same department. <laughs> yeah, they, talk, they there's some crosstalk there. The, the, the department lobby. But that um, seating lobby has to be kind of impartial to both racers. Back in the day, when we did unseated, that seating lobby was uh, definitely picking favorites. But in this yeah. case, they're, they sort of had their power <laughs> stripped. They've been... Uh, yeah, they oh sort of had their this, hands cut. This is a really interesting scene. Uh, Earth spell, it's also really good. Oh yeah, these are incredible items. At this point, it would surprise me if they find a, a single whip. Okay. <laughs> the boots, that would have killed him. <laughs> yeah, he almost jumped on them. You, you could see he stopped for a second. Yeah, yeah, the slight pause. I love it. No, nope, that's a bad ring. Okay, there's a bad item. We did it, everybody. We found a bad it item. It happened. Oh, the confused, well handled. Ink Nun just mm -hmm. behind. Nice war, war Axe action there to knock back that Blade Master, not worrying about him. Ironic that the, like... that the Ring of War uh, provided some pacifistic maneuvers. Hmm. Like, 
whenever you you know that you're gonna be confused on the next beat, it feels like it's easier to control. The, the problem is when you get confused and you're not expecting it. Yes. I, I don't know if it's like that for you as well. It is 100% true, yeah. If you're ready mm -hmm. to account for it, um, then it's easy. Or if you're one of those types who ha set up the uh, the alternate oh, controls, yeah. alternate, you can yeah. see it coming, then you're in good shape. This is so insanely close and super fast. Four and a half minutes here, just coming to the end of zone four. Really solid race. Oh man, this is this is no, why we pay the, these guys. Oh my god, because they're oh, so good. Spoody. Except that Telemonkey yeah, for Spooty, okay. that could yeah. be the difference right there. Ink Nun now with the lead because of a bad Telemonkey, and like slightly better routing. So the, oh, the routing lobby. Oh, oh my god, oh, that was no. just absolutely cruel. Let's get that replay as that Blade Master. So Spooty, what even? How? If Spooty just oh, that is such a beat. crazy. How do you even expect any of that to happen? The way that the the Ghoulam came yeah, down and then like, the Harpy goes up over you. Oh so man, oh yeah. Spooty died because he jumped back onto the Goo. He had to like stay in place and take the hit from the he Blade to, Master. Like Earth Spell or Bomb or something. I think Earth was the best call there. Sorry about the replayception there, everybody. I was just flabbergasted by that whole scenario. Or, or even like keeping a beat, I guess, just to take the hit, but not on the Goo. You know, like the, the Goo killed him here. Like, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was Goo damage. That's right. That, that sucks. That super sucks. But even if he stayed there, he would have been trapped and everything would have just been wailing on him, right? Like he had nowhere to for go. Sure, he sure. had to go up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the Blade Master was going to stab him when he goes up. So the only thing he could have done is bombed and stood there or um, Earth spelled. Yeah, Earth probably being the one that would save him. Yeah, I'm with Spooty on this. I think that that's a common way for like top tier racers to go down is the Harpy jump where the you just don't behind. expect it. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. as Booty is saying very... in chat. For sure. The, the Harpy blocking you from behind, it's so awkward. Yeah, that was that was such a hype race. I can't even imagine how it would have gone down if uh, Spooty didn't get that brutal Telemonkey and then, and then died. Because, yeah, this was like such a ridiculous build. Meanwhile, Inkman's got all the uh, health he needs right now. It's looking pretty good. It's fairly cursed, but that shouldn't be a problem. He's also got some health regen. He's got a nice armor, even better armor if he wants, a heal spell. I don't even think you need to bother picking up that armor. He's, yeah, he's pretty not. in the clear right now. He does only have two bombs though, and I'll point out the fact, I've pointed out before that um, not only is the bomb Necrodancer faster, it's also easier. If you don't have the bombs for the Necrodancer, you're probably gonna have a harder time on the fight itself because you have to worry with uh, extra spawns and things in your way and the larger space for dragons to shoot at you and stuff. Mm -hmm. Spooty seems to be counting on Ink Nun's extreme like, consistency. Oh, here with he's... him not resetting? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a proponent of always resetting, but... I mean, this is totally fair. At, and again, this level, yeah, yeah. I don't mm -hmm. mind if it's like a preserve your sanity kind of situation. For I sure, think that's, for sure. I think that's justified. And also what kind of sucks in that situation uh, is that that little mummy, the little turnip also blocked the Blade Master. Like everything that happened there was ridiculous because a big part of the problem there was movement uh, priority. Just how yeah, the yeah, movement it, priority went down, it was like the worst possible scenario for Spooty. It was a, a very non-intuitive kind of situation. And and not having a shovel, like there was just a ton of stuff that, that didn't work out there. And yeah, the armadillo coming in and wailing on him too. It just, that was such yeah, a I, brutal death. I, I do think that, oh, GG to Ink Nun. But yep. I, I do think that Spooty is probably one of the best players at like reading patterns quickly. So like, oh yeah, that, it's that all was that code of play. Like a lot of, yeah, exactly. Like th that was a lot of information and bullshit at the same time. <laughs> Oh, 100%. Yeah, I don't think any racer could um, have properly parsed out all the things that was about to happen. <laughs> Not at all. All right, well, Spooty, get back in there, man. Get out of my chat. You got to you gotta race. We got ourselves a seed. 8-2-2-5-9-7-4. That's a good seed. Yeah, the, the good old, like, yeah, the, that a, one. It's a classic seed. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the <laughs> aged in, you know oak barrel oh yeah yeah I, I expect a number of barrels in this seed because of its its aging process <laughs> the, because of the barrel lobby you open up a barrel 
and it's just full of wine and it's like, oh, it just spills everywhere. That'd be great. Just the, like, I really do hope, and I don't think it's a thing because it probably would have been found, but I wish there is some kind of, like, ultra rare thing that's going to, like, happen once yeah. every, like, five years yeah, for so anybody or something. I remember someone, at some point, someone told me that if you killed the leprechaun on the Shrine of Sacrifice, you opened up, like, a secret level or something. Yeah. And I, even though I know now that, oh my god. The start, okay. and I think we're going to get some throw strats here from Spooty, I think is what's about to happen. Or, wait, what? Why did he reset? I don't understand. Neither. Um, oh, I understand. He chari he did it wrong. Charisma saves you a heart. Oh, I see, I see. Because it drops okay. it down yeah, to yeah. half a heart. Gotcha, gotcha. So it's either you get the Ring of Charisma or not with the same health. Mm -hmm. And you might as well get it. Although, to be fair, it's not super useful besides the Blood Shop, which is what they used it for for the same mm -hmm. outcome, so I don't know. That chainmail pickup, though, this is a very good seed. Again, Seed Lobby is uh, is really providing yeah, they're, here. They're putting in the work, yeah. But I, I do definitely like think about the possibility of like, there's like one seed that if you put in, it just shows you like a text or like a random video or something, but only that seed and you can only <laughs> find it. You know? Yeah, that's, uh, that's how you get to the trailer of, the, of Ryan's new game. Yeah, or right yeah, in the new like, seed. The like right Half-Life 3 or something. Yeah. Or yeah, that's, it downloads Half-Life 3 on your computer. <laughs> oh, let's do it. Also, yeah, Transmute Fodder, that's a good point, Dark Freak. It is cheaper shops, but the amount of shopping that these racers are going to be doing is pretty minimal, so I wouldn't expect that. Mm -hmm. Spooty, with a little bit of gain here, is now going to be ahead. But Inknum does have two fireballs. I wouldn't be surprised if he uses them here. Yeah, he might get a little bit of a faster yeah, yeah. kill here because of the fireballs, although it's kind of an unfortunate way that the arithmetic worked out there, and so he does not... It's not oh, that they're... much faster, but they're pretty much beat for beat at this point. Yeah, yeah. Grabbing that pretty gold. much exactly together. And with the shield scroll pickup for both, nobody did some RTMP there. That was ideal time, I think, that to wait it out. That was too close, I think. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, but if you're that close, I would wait anyways, even if it puts you behind a little bit. Because in this situation, That's... who knows what the red chest could have... What? What? Spooty. Oh, that was a very uncharacteristic death from Spooty, and he's probably going to be kicking himself pretty hard for that one. Uh, I'm trying to understand the Oh, he got there. spooked by the... It was the large sprite. Guaranteed. It was the skeleton behind. He got spooked by the skeleton. And mm. that's why he went for the attack. Because there was a skeleton that only sort of barely peeked out its head behind the large sprite of the dragon. Mm -hmm. I can only imagine, because that was such a weirdly rookie mistake that I feel like it must have been some kind of wonkiness like that. That, that was like the curse of knowledge. Like, he, he knew too much, and he tried to decide something. Like, exactly. Way, way overly complex. Ooh, that's a pretty nice shop find there for Ink Nun. Is he going to kill? He is going to kill using the shield for just saving one of his bombs. Now, it does put him below the bomb mm -hmm. threshold, but... Yeah, he has know. time to find another one. Was it that worth it? I guess the... Shovel of Courage is pretty dang good. But I wonder if he needs to go fast. Like, I say yes. Spooty's like only you know, a couple floors sure, behind, sure. and Spooty's super yeah. fast. And Ink Nun is known for his not so great slow play, although that has largely changed. We've just, he yeah, used to I, have. I, oh, oh no, Spooty getting hit, although not a huge deal. That purple chest was kind of bad, and he's already got a weapon, so I think that's not yeah, the, the worst thing. The shield scroll, not too relevant. Yeah. There was a shield spell that Ingman found. That oh, he had the money. Good. Stake pointing out he had the money. He didn't even need to kill there. That's oh, pretty well. funny. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, nicely, nicely dodged there. And there's that cursed dragon. Handled this time from Spooty. <laughs> what is the curse of dragon? I don't think I'm up to date. No, cursed. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's just a, a stupid adjective. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh man, the game has a Curse of Dragon now. Curse of wow. Dragon, no! <laughs> oh man, I guess you could argue that like a lot of the ways you die are the curse of something. What this is, is this 3-3? Three, three? This is, this what is, is this 3-3? Three, three? Okay. Oh, the scoots. That was some necessary scoots from Inkdun there to get through that, because that was a lot of Blade Masters coming in. Or that sorry, Knights. With the, the spell. Yep, yep. Yeah, solid play. By the way, uh, I do want to point out that Inknun is the current world record holder. Just got a world record, I think, earlier today. 
for Cadence. Ooh. And it is it is strangely straightforward. It's not so, like it's not like uh, lunging or any of that lunging. kind of weirdness. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't even have oh. leaping. That, that's what Inknan does. He just like he gets a completely normal build and just gets world record. Because he's just that fast and efficient, I guess. Yeah, the the, the end like the world record lobby or something. <laughs> Curse of Dragon. I like that. <laughs> that was a good wordplay. Approved. Oh, oh hello. Do you take that? I would. I, I don't would think too. the I don't think Excellent. at this point you want you necessarily need the courage. And the plus one damage is actually quite good on... Although I guess going into zone five, you're gonna have that infinite damage anyways. I don't know. That's fair. Oh, I love that wall pig position. Reminds me of a little something something from Square. <laughs> I'm sure you saw that highlight. I I have not, do, do tell. Uh, Square, I think it's better for you to just watch it. Someone in chat's gonna definitely link it. It's, it's quite <laughs> okay. amazing. So I won't even, I, I'll, I'm willing to solo the the commentary here while you watch that if you'd like whoa Inknan <laughs> getting clubbed by that uh ogre there now we need to figure out what ring Inknan has because he did swap the charisma for the like ring of thinky thunks yeah he um, didn't he didn't really care about hopefully it's not becoming it looks like is it can it be is becoming? it frost it might be frost i think it can be becoming pretty sure mm -hmm. I could be totally wrong. Yeah, it's Frost, which is funny because I was just talking about his world record and he actually got the Thinky Thonk ring and it was Frost. Oh, oh. Okay, it can't be becoming. Name, but... All right, well, I don't know what I'm talking about. Getting a little frozen Where there. But he's got the Frost oh, okay. uh, ring, so it's pretty safe. Chat, where's the link? And, yeah. Someone said the link, please. <laughs> the Squega, Squega potion thing. Can't be pain or okay, darkness either. I, I, I'm I'm imagining like now that you mention, I imagine exactly what happened. Yeah, it's worth it for just <laughs> the the reaction and everything and the follow up. It's quite good. <laughs> All right. Well, Spooty has done a pretty decent job of catching up here. His uh, if you look at the timer difference, he's about two minutes behind, and yet he's only two mm. floors back uh, with a pretty solid build here. He does have. Uh, piercing on his electro dagger as well and he's doing some like really good routing right now oh yeah he's pushing very hard although now i'm getting him frozen okay are they on the same floor no no, no then just going down okay. to dead ringer now it's it's a pretty big yeah. lead in, for these guys for like, sure it's gonna be sure. very tough for spooty to come back uh he did blow up his potion too in the process of pushing. bit of a wonky dead ringer here and it worked uh, out the... because of the frost ring but it could have been bad or, or because of the electro ring or electro dagger and on to the, the necro dancer mm -hmm. so this could be another win for ink none no oh, no the spooty blood magic blood yeah yeah <laughs> I, I i think the 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 nervousness. Ah, it's just unfortunate. Something. It might have been that death sort of tilted him off a bit. I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's a bummer. Spooty, no. Yeah, it's it's sad to see that happen in these races. I mean, Spooty is definitely a beloved racer. He's like one of the nicest people ever. He's super duper cool and like absurdly good mm -hmm. at this game. It's a shame that uh, that had to happen. I, I want to see these races be nice and close, but I mean, it's the way it goes and Ink Nun wins. GG. GG. 847, I mean, solid. Thank you, Squaga. Oh my goodness. Nothing about this puts in question that Spooty is an amazing racer. <laughs> like, um, even if you haven't, if you've never seen him playing, you can definitely trust him. Oh, that's that absolutely the case. Yeah, he's yeah. good and he's raced long enough. He can certainly bounce back from this. I am hoping I am hoping for a bit of a Spooty comeback here. I don't want to see part of it because I think what would happen is Spooty's ELO might drop off a bit if he loses all three here. And then he's going to have next week is going to be a lot easier. Like, I don't know. ELO mm -hmm. is such an interesting metric. I, I'll mm -hmm. admit I was a touch sketchy or um, skeptical of it to start the season, but um, I'm happy we're trying it. I'm looking forward to seeing what's going on. It, it's an interesting, like, 
kind of like standard thing for other like sports and esports, so it's kind of interesting to see how it'll perform. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, um, just reading about. Uh... Just one sec. All right, time to so yeah, Spooty. Yeah, go watch that clip. But yeah, Spooty's just saying how he did get spooked by that um, enemy behind the dragon. <laughs> Thanks, Quega. All right. Oh, by the way, uh, chat, while we have a little bit of downtime, the racers are sort of chit-chatting a bit, um, which is totally fine, um, especially because they go so fast. We're really not that far behind on time. I did want to bring up, there's something I never mentioned on stream, but I, I, it's sort of an open thing. If you ever have any sort of uh, comments or anything you'd like to make about the stream, anything you think we can improve upon or whatever, I accept all cr constructive criticisms, anything. You're more than welcome to let me know. I just want what's best for the stream, so... Feel free to let me know if you think uh, certain <laughs> things aren't good quality or whatever. Uh, yeah, definitely uh, check that out. Um, yeah, so there you have it. it. Looks like Spooty's a little bit behind. I'm gonna generate again. I, I was sort of expecting the first clip, but the second one, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, you had both amazing. clips? Oh yeah, you yeah, yeah. saw the follow-up, yeah, where he, uh, that, that one's extra funny because he was like so focused in bombing it that he ends up bombing the, the potion, which was not Dude, intentional. That, that is top tier entertainment. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> so um, just final the final comment on what I was just talking about. Uh, if you want to whisper it, that's uh, totally fine. You can tell me to my face or you can whisper it um, just so it's sort of anonymous. But yeah, please, by all means, let me know or go to our Discord and, and uh, PM me. I'm, I'm always in our Discord somewhere lurking around. By the way, Solid start to this, not quite as solid as the previous seeds, but you know that's a, essentially a titanium uh, broadsword. I'd hundred percent take that. Plus the can I the map. Can I whisper you pictures of penguins? Is Certainly. Okay. Yeah, go for it. it. I mean, that, that's the important question, really. <laughs> Especially if you have some kind of like secret message behind it on how to improve my stream by message. I guess more <laughs> penguins. I don't know. That's probably what I would interpret. Booty kicking that barrel down the stair or down the hole there, and he's gonna get himself that ring of pain as well. But he did not pick up the uh, broadsword. But I imagine that broadsword is really not gonna be like a final end game item. So Ooh, I imagine both is racers. Good RNG. Ooh. Spooty, Spooty was smart here. So he noticed that the keyboards were coming first, and then he jumped forward and used the pain effect to trigger core roof. Oh, solid and make this fight a lot faster. And actually, yeah, this titanium like staff really, is really. pretty fun with the pain of, of effect, so this should be good. I mm -hmm. do like I do like seeing this weapon in, in racing. Because it's nice because it, it pains board, away yeah. shielded enemies, which is really good. Sorry, what was that? Oh, I am terrible with the staff in zone 4, but I think like the, the ring of pain makes it a lot better. Oh yeah, I would I would definitely agree because it kills blade masters or does damage to them. Ooh, you could take the piercing though. I wonder if that's the right call. I guess, yeah. Hmm, looks like both are taking it, so I'm gonna assume yes, because both of these guys are way better than me in this game, so <laughs> I kinda just have to assume that they're making the right choice there. Well, like, I am not the ultimate authority on uh, how to play this game, not even close. Hmm. Oh, that's, oh, look at these staff strats, though. I love it. Just shooting mini bosses from across the oh, level. Oh, yeah, that, I mean, they have a three damage staff. Yeah, like the the piercing is very very sexy. In this oh, situation. the shot from Spooty! Did you see that? I saw that. Yeah, oh, that, I was like, replay. oh man. <laughs> I'm like, he's don't worry, miss he's just it. fighting death metal right now. Look at this replay. Bam! Oh. That was awesome. Three sixty no scope. Three sixty no scope. One hundred percent. The irony there is that it was a one eighty, but. <laughs> I think most yeah, times yeah, people yeah. use 360 no scope. It's actually for a 180. The quick turn and he boom mm -hmm. headshot. Uh oh, it's not gonna help you this time though, Spooty. There's oh, no enemies. Oh, he yeah. could have used the the throwing stars. I think he's Ooh, gonna. I think he would. Oh, the it, heal it, to buffer. Oh, swag. All swag all day. Dude, these are some this great is like... the plays. These yeah. plays right now, I'm loving it. I like it because it's this is a non-standard build. Something we were talking about, uh, Rat and I, about how race practice prepares you for non-standard builds, and that's exactly mm -hmm. what we're seeing here. This is a very strange build. 
I, I love these wonky builds with like really high level racers because you see some really interesting plays. I also love the fact that we're getting some weird, like steak is saying pain is better. Jack and Naaman disagreeing. I'm looking at the tier of all those racers and saying, obviously it's not a, an easy decision then between mm -hmm. the two, which I find interesting. All right, so uh, Inknan with the big lead here, chance to yeah, trio Ink Spooty. So Inkman did the Azuma strat and Spooty opted to actually do the flawless here. Yeah, and it took a long time because he didn't use his bomb, so that that fight alone could be the big difference. And there's Panzler's Gold Whip <laughs> from the first race he was in. Kong is such a slow fight when you do the... Yeah, the Ozuma fight. was the right call. I think you don't need... Like, what did he even get? Oh, he spell? still has a bomb. I think he so got a heal spell. It wasn't the bomb. Well, yeah, but... Oh, you're right. No, you're right. The the bomb is the Ozuma. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, I wonder if this bomb could mean, like, the, the difference between winning or losing. I'm going to say probably likely, not. I feel like you got to have, yeah. like, the full suite of bombs for it to really matter. One for bomb sure. doesn't make too much of a difference. There is a bomb, so now Inkman's up to two bombs. Mm -hmm. And that so is... So that means... Ooh, do, that, you, do you take... That, no, I don't ooh. think you want to bomb that. Oh, you could have used that guy for the bomb, though. For sure. Although, do you um, want Ring of Peace at this point? I don't know. If you're, if you're this tier of racing, it's hard to say. Probably not. Now, is... Is Spooty gonna find the same two bombs that Inknan found? There's one. Yeah, Spooty might get the threshold. Yeah, Inknan, I think he actually actively Ooh. seeked that. That's that's incredible. This that was a huge play for Spooty right now. Because yes. he actively sought out that um that bomb on his map, knowing it was there, possibly because of RTMP, which is incredible. I love those plays. So now this could be interesting because like unless yeah, Inknan now finds he has three a, bombs. Yeah, if Inknan finds a bomb, it will be less interesting, but he may not. It's not easy to find. There could be one right there to the left. I think he's gonna check that. So check in your Spooty map real quick. You see that here. yellow there it is. Oh, so he dude. does get the third bomb. So that is rough business for Spooty. As he's getting wailed on by all these enemies. Lobby. Oh god. Oh he didn't get any of his heals. Oh he ate a bunch of cookies. The seed lobby is definitely on Inknan's side. Yeah, totally. Seed lobby. So much lobbying in that good answer. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it's just unfortunate. I think I would have just tanked that Minotaur with a cookie at that point. Oh, but like... sure. That would have been a lot faster. All right, they're on the same yeah, floor. They're... Inknan is only at half a heart. That's pretty big. Mm hmm. Yeah, half a heart on Dead Ringer is very like. Yeah. yeah. This will be a straightforward left side or right side spawn strat. Uh, that uh, that knight was a little spooky, but it really wasn't too bad. Spooty onto Dead Ringer just as Ink Nun finishes it. Their builds are pretty identical, so like, yeah, it it, it could come down to like luring, but it, it yeah. I think it could come down at this point. I think Ink Nun's pretty well got it i think it's too far away for luring but um inkman's still only at half a heart though so it's not that safe yet quality lures right there really mm -hmm. nice this fight is super fast right now oh, this this is going very fast yeah. yeah this is like the fastest you could do this fight essentially oh i shouldn't have said anything he did miss <laughs> out on one there and he is gonna take it inkman is gonna sweep spooty biscuit uh in some pretty impressive fashion i think spooty's gonna probably be kicking himself for um few of those deaths, or just kicking the game, a few of those deaths were pretty brutal. That large sprite death was really tragic. Um, like, mm -hmm. valiant effort from Spooty.